Hi, I am the Low One Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on your netbook without the use of the USB flash drive. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it without one of these. The netbook I will be using in this video will be a Hewlett Packard Mini, and the model is 1120-1020LA. Okay. But any netbook has the same problem, they don't have a CD drive. So we either have to use the USB drive or we can do what I'm about to show you. I will show you two ways of doing this. Now the first way is going to be downloading the ISO image of the Windows 7 and then mounting the image in a virtual CD drive. In this case you don't need anything else, just the netbook. I am in the Windows website here. This is windows.microsoft.com and if you haven't downloaded your copy of Windows 7 yet then go to Downloads, Windows 7, and then down here you have this one that says Windows 7, just click on it and it will take you to the Microsoft Store website where you can choose your version of Windows, right, and you can get a downloadable version. By the way, if you're going to be downloading this or buying it, just make sure you get the 32-bit version. Keep in mind that most netbooks have a 32-bit processor. The next thing we need to do is go to the Magic ISO website. Just Google Magic ISO or go to magicISO.com. Here you go to the tutorials and scroll down a little bit until you see Magic ISO Virtual CD DVD ROM thing. Click here where it says Overview, and here you have the download link for Windows XP. Just download that one to your hard drive. Once it finishes downloading, I have the double-click on the installation file and then here next, next, next once you finish, you just clear finish it will tell you that a new hardware has been found and once it finishes, it will tell you that it's ready to be used And then you will have this icon here, you just right click on it, set the number of drives to one drive. Now here what I have done is I have downloaded the Windows 7 image here on my desktop. So I right click on the magic disk icon here, here in virtual CD, DVD ROM, I have the option to mount it. Desktop, just the ISO image open, and that's it. I have the option to install now, and the installation process has already begun. You just have to follow the instructions, and it will be installed. So, that was the first way you can do it. Now, the second way to do it is if you already have the DVD with the Windows 7 and you have another computer with a DVD drive and your netbook is connected in the same network with the computer that has the CD drive. So the first thing you do is just take the DVD and put it inside this, the DVD drive of the computer that has the DVD drive. So the first thing we need to do in the computer that has the DVD drive is open the My Computer window, then right click on the DVD drive, go to Share and Security, then on this window go to Share right here and then click on whatever text you have there and then down here it says Share. Remember the name of the shared uh, drive, in this case we will be F. Just accept and that's it, you have shared what you have in the DVD drive of this computer with the rest of the network. Once you have the DVD into the DVD drive, 
and you have shared the drive into the network then you can go to the network and just go to networks and you will have a list of the shared resources in the network remember the name it was F so F is the shared resource you just double click on it and I can see the files that are in the DVD just double click on the setup file I have this menu the option install now just click on it and the installation process begins then just follow the instructions and that's it and that is the second way you can install Windows 7 into your netbook without using a USB drive if you liked this video or you found it useful please subscribe to my videos and every week you will find a new review tutorial or information about low-end systems or products. I am the low-end guru. You have a great day. Thank you.